What happens when the smartest in the society will always want to make life better for those already living their best? My name is Ilak Diaz. I'm the founder and global director of Litter of Light. I come from the Philippines, uh, but today I run this Litter of Light, which is a global operation in 32 countries. So it's always this question of, you know, what happens to those people that can never ask for help? The best talent, but the very people that needs you the most uh, won't be able to hire you. A very interesting uh, saying I heard, it says, the United Nations builds the camp, but the refugees build the city. Sometimes you see the person that's donating, the charitable gift, but sometimes you don't see the power of, of, of human hands in the hundreds or in the thousands. Sometimes, because they do so little, you don't see the collectivity, the power, the power of the people. Do you wait for one or two people to, to, to make a difference in the world? Or do you empower thousands of people to, to, to solve it? And I, and I felt like I was getting too much. I was receiving so much, but I wasn't giving back. Litter of light is nothing, but we need an army of change makers. So if any of them uh, feels that they made a difference, who knows, one day, they themselves will say, look, you know, to be successful is to make other people's life a success and I can make a difference. And there will be many inventors, many designers that will start looking at the world and saying, you know, I can make a difference. And that's why I'm here. To be successful, you have to bring as many people along with you with your success. You cannot help people by staying in a room or reading other people's troubles or or theorizing. You have to go out there. You have to let the world speak to you and you have to talk to people.